southern south It's Big Main and Ken And we at it again We at it again, yeah This one for the Slash Riders How you doing? I'm Omar Kala uh, Triple Jumper Business management is my major. I'm from Killeen, Texas. Uh, back home in Gainesville. The difference would be Gainesville, I, I don't know if it's smaller or bigger, but it's more, I guess it's, it's, it's a more quiet and, and more organized type of city or place. But where I'm from in Killeen, it's just, you know, we all out here trying to, trying to make it and just just be a, a successful person. I mean, I know that's that's almost everywhere you go, but in my city, it's, 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 that's what we want. We want to be successful. We're trying to make it out and, and do something with our lives. And that's what I do it for. Besides myself and my family, the one man up above, I do it for my city. In fact, most people wouldn't know about me is that uh, I can't cook. I don't like to cook. And, uh, I would want them to know that you know, I'm afraid of worms, so you might try to pull a prank on me that I'm afraid of worms. Uh, growing up, uh, I always loved football and always played football, organized, you know, organized sports, it was football, but I also at the parks played baseball and basketball. I pretty much wanted to have my hands up every single day. Uh, I started doing track in eighth grade, I always did football, you know, as a young as a youngin, you know, uh, KPR, you know, for the, uh, what they call it, uh, Pee Wee. But, you know, I started in the eighth grade and pretty much kicked off from that. Uh, it'll be uh, last year, 2010, winning the national title, indoor title. You know, just to uh, see the faces on everybody that thought we was coming in just to be second place again, but we showed them that's what we came to do and accomplish. Yeah, the one thing that's obstacle would be uh, here training and, and competing every day with you know, Christian Taylor and Will Clip. The biggest obstacle I probably had to overcome is Facebook on the day. My decision making went into one was you know Coach Booth coming here. He's the best coach I ever I actually heard of uh, to be a to be a triple jump coach. And you know the weather. It, it pretty much made me feel like I was at home. You know, the weather, the people, and, you know, the coaches. Uh, I don't have an actual favorite track athlete, but if I did have to choose, it'd be myself and, you know, my cousin, Marquis Gilbert. He's he a long jumper, as, you know, jumper as well. And, I mean, at, at a young age, he you know, doing his thing. Proudest moment. I would say just getting the opportunity to compete, you know. Uh, I missed an entire uh, first semester of school and just being able to know that, you know, I'm going to an actual you know, big D1 college to, to compete. Have my name somewhere, that, that, that's the biggest thing for me. Uh, I wouldn't have one, I, I like to do a high jump. I mean, I just like to have fun. Although, you know, I'm a triple jumper, I, I like to, you know, I want to put my hands in different things, even if I'm not good. I rather do like the high jump. I did the 60. Uh, matter of fact, I do like the decathlon, minus the pole. What keeps me motivated during the off season and in season is uh, knowing that there's big meets at the, at the end of the year, such as the, the one in Korea, in Daegu, Korea. It's a big meet, all the, all the big names, and you know, knowing that I can you know, get closer to making some money. On the team, I feel like uh, they would classify me as like the enforcer. Uh, I mean, I don't like to say I, I tell people what to do, but it's like you know, I I can be you know, I'm, I'm there to get the job done, and I, I'm enforcing you know, my way to get it done. Or you know, I can be somebody that they can come and talk to that they want to, to keep it real and let them know you know what's going on and not be I guess political. So to speak. Before I start my approach, I have to pray. I pray to God, you know, to get me through my jumps, to at least PR, and then I talk to my feet and my leg, you know, let them know, like, hey, we gotta get this one. It's time to get it.
free jump ritual would probably be having to pray. I mean, without prayer, I don't feel you know, anything, any of this is, is possible. So I, I pray before I jump and I become one with the, with the runway. I have to be by myself unless it's with a teammate. But I have to be alone. And, uh, I, don't, I don't do too much talking. We can do all that after, after competition. Legacy, I, I feel. I feel I'm a part of a legacy right now because one, we won the national title in 2010, but the, the real legacy I feel is being a part of the best jump squad a school has ever had or has ever you know, put together before. So being a part of this jump squad, I feel is a legacy. But I, I want people to remember me solely as you know somebody that kept it real, and somebody that, you know, that you know to, to, to show people that it's okay to you know voice your opinion let people know how you feel let people know that, that you can talk that you got a voice the best part of being a gay is besides getting that education it's a we all have this mentality of being the best we all came here uh, knowing that you know it's gonna be some big competition out here but we always keep our keep our mind set on, on a bigger goal just been, been that top competitor. By any means necessary, we gotta go and get it. Striving for the top, but I can't do it out my city. I do it for my city. Boys who grind gritty. By any means necessary, we gotta go and get it. Striving for the top, but I can't do it out my city.